So yesterday we played this instantly viral video for you of one, uh, one of Donald Trump's lifetime would be lifetime appointees to be a federal judge. Uh, his name is Matthew Spencer Peterson. Uh, let's just uh, th there's nothing better than just reminding you what took place during this guy's confirmation hearing where he just didn't know anything about the job he was going to have. Here's one quick example. As I've been a party to during my time. Yes, sir, I've, I've read your yeah. your resume. Um, just for the record, do you know what a motion in limine is? I would probably not be able to give you a good definition okay. right here at the, at the uh, okay. table. Probably. Um, do you Best. know what the uh, younger abstention doctrine is? Uh, Any I, I've that? heard of it, but I, again. Oh. That, How about the Pullman abstention doctrine? I, I heard you're going to see you all see that a lot in, in federal court. So anyway, he's dropped out <laughs> the uh, scandal that exploded over this totally abortive confirmation hearing testimony. He is the third judicial selection from Trump to drop after it just became completely obvious that he has no business being a judge appointed for life to an important position or even an unimportant position. I would argue he has withdrawn his name. He says he's withdrawing because he doesn't want to become a distraction. Uh, that's uh, that's one way to say it. Another one would be that he's withdrawn after it became abundantly clear that he shouldn't be a federal judge. And I'm still getting emails from uninformed. And, and you know, it's OK that they're uninformed, but maybe inform yourself before emailing me. I'm getting emails from people who wrongly believe that the questions posed to Mr. Peterson were sort of obscure, difficult, gotcha questions. I got a voicemail about this, too, from Troy York, who says basically this exact same thing. Listen to it. David Pacman, you are a pompous ass. <laughs> You're making fun of that law candidate. A law candidate. Who has grilled all them stupid questions. There could be millions of questions of law. How would you like it if you were at a Senate hearing trying to get a job as a podcaster at MSNBC? <laughs> and they're asking you all these economic terms. Is that it? Oh, okay. In More. economics and finance that uh, you have long forgotten, haven't studied from your days of uh, tooling under Professor Richard Wolf. Oh, that's right. Richard Wolf was my professor at, at Boston UMass. College. Yeah, but that was at, that was at UMass. Uh, Troy, you're wrong. I mean, th these are not obscure legal questions, right? Countless law professors, including uh, and uh, Aderson Francois from Georgetown Law School, he said any second year law student. Never mind a second year lawyer would have better answers to these questions than the ones that Peterson had. And remember that the focus only became Peterson during the hearing because there was a question asked, has anyone on the uh, on this panel never tried a trial to verdict or uh, given a deposition on your own? And Peterson raised his hand and he was the only one. So had he even been involved in one trial, he would have avoided at least some of that scrutiny by not being the one dude on the panel raising his hand. It's because of him that all of this happened. It has nothing to do with Senator Kennedy or me or anyone at MSNBC. Yeah, maybe some of these second year law students would have made better candidates than this guy, apparently. No doubt about it. Yeah, it, at least they would have been able to give some answer to what a motion in limine is. Um, I mentioned yesterday that some Trumpists think this is good, right? Nominees like this are good in the same way that they saw Trump's political lack of experience as good. They say, hey, this guy's lack of judicial experience is good. It's been a disaster with Trump, number one, but the logic of it is fundamentally flawed as a principle. The, the idea is outsiders make refreshingly good candidates for many uh, fields. Would you support an airline pilot with no flying experience because you want new energy in the cockpit? Would you support a lifelong librarian? I don't know to be your dental hygienist because you're sick and tired of these career dental hygienists that only know one way of doing things. Obviously not. So once you have a counterexample to the principle, you then have to think about each instance. And there's nothing about Matthew Spencer Peterson that makes him a good candidate for a lifetime judicial appointment. And why would you support a president who had no experience in public service as well? Yes. My favorite Trump appointee for uh, a judgeship was the guy who was a ghost hunter and oh, fiction yeah. writer, and he was deemed not qualified by the American Bar Association. And Peterson was also deemed unqualified, really? by the way. The, and that guy dropped out as well, right? That's one of the three. It's that guy, Peterson, and, and I think one other that dropped out. Yeah, just, just a, it's a gong show of bizarre nominations.